Hi there, Chase here. I'm really hungry after playing with the Paw Patrol all day long. I'm ready for dinner. I'm glad you had fun with the other members. I'm sure it was a good team bonding experience. But yeah, you're in luck. I have a lot of magic dough, so I can make you any food you want. Nice! I just want a meal with any type of meat, and I trust your cooking, so you can surprise me with the rest. You got it. I'll get started right away. Alright, we're going to use this stove to cook Chase's meal. And this is not just any stove. This stove will turn the magic dough into real food. We'll make him a nice juicy T-bone steak. Use some magic red dough. Give me a second. Awesome! Here's a piece of raw T-bone steak. Let's cook it on this green pan. Flip it once. Don't want to overcook it or else it won't be juicy. And watch this transformation. Awesome! That looks perfect. Let's put our steak on a plate. Now let's make some side dishes. The back of this cutting board has a few food molds. Let's use some magic green dough to make our first dish. We'll make broccoli. Now let's use magic white dough to make mushrooms. Okay, here's a closer look at the broccoli. And here's a closer look at our mushroom. Now these two pieces are pretty small. So on top of the magic stove, we'll also have to use this magic blue bowl to make our veggies larger. Cook them on the stove for a bit. Isn't this amazing? We just made giant veggies. Here's a closer look at the green broccoli. And here's a closer look at the white mushroom. Chase will have a hard time eating these veggies, so let's slice our veggies in half. That looks much better. Now let's slice our mushroom in half. Beautiful. Let's put our sliced veggies into the blue bowl. Awesome! We made Chase a well-balanced meal. Okay, Chase, here you go. A meat plate with a veggie bowl. Wow, the food looks delicious, and it smells delicious too. That magic dough is really cool. I couldn't take my eyes off the dough during the cooking part. The transformation was awesome. I can't wait to try this dish. Okay, since you wanted meat, let's start with this juicy T-bone steak. Enjoy! Wow, that steak was cooked perfectly. It was really juicy, and the seasoning was amazing. You know, I don't really like vegetables, but I said I trust your cooking, so I'll give them a try. Trust me, you're going to love these veggies. I personally love mushrooms and broccoli. Whoa, I love broccoli and mushroom too. The broccoli texture is really nice, and both the mushroom and broccoli tasted better than I thought. I honestly went into it thinking it would be nasty. Sorry. I'm still kind of hungry though. Can I get more food, please? I'm proud of you. I'm glad you tried the veggies. See? They're not bad, right? And of course, I have plenty of magic dough. What do you want to eat next? Hmm. I'm craving some seafood now. I don't have a specific dish in mind, so you can surprise me again. Oh, seafood. Great call. I have something in mind, so wait right here. All right. This time we're going to combine magic red dough and white dough to make shrimp. Use the shrimp mold on the stove. Awesome! Here's a closer look at our shrimp. Everyone ready to see the transformation again? Let's cook our shrimp on this pan. Awesome! 
Now we have a beautifully cooked shrimp, and it's gigantic. Let's serve the shrimp with some veggies. We'll use magic orange dough to make a carrot. Also use a little bit of magic green dough. Okay, let's use magic red dough to make a tomato. Alright, here's our orange carrot. Let's put the carrot inside the magic bowl. And here's our red tomato. We'll put this in the bowl as well. Okay, let's use the magic blue bowl and cook these veggies. Nice! Now we have a giant carrot and a giant tomato. Here's a closer look at our orange carrot. And here's a closer look at our red tomato. Alright, let's slice these veggies in half. Much better. Do the same for this carrot. Perfect! These veggies are ready to eat! Okay, Chase, here you go! Wowza! You are seriously the best chef! This seafood dish looks amazing! I love shrimp, so I'm very excited to try this! Enjoy! Yum! That shrimp had a lot of meat, and it was very tasty! And guess what? I'm actually pretty excited to try the veggies now because the other veggies were really good. Oh, really? I'm very happy to hear that. Enjoy! Whoa! I think I like these veggies more. The tomato was juicy, the carrot was crunchy, and both of them were surprisingly sweet too. Oh wow, you have really good taste buds. Carrots and tomatoes are naturally on the sweeter side compared to other veggies. I'm really happy you enjoyed all of the food. You want anything else? I still have a lot of magic dough. No, no, I'm good. Even if I wanted more, I don't think I could eat another bite. I'm so full. Thank you for the amazing dinner. I'm definitely going to sleep well tonight. Come back anytime. Hey everyone, welcome back to Osmer Pop. Today we're going to be hanging out with our friend Baby Marshall. Hi there, Asma Pop. Marshall here. I'm really hungry, and I was hoping you could make me something to eat. Yikes. Mm, I actually just ran out of ingredients to make food. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I might have something. Wait, right here. All right, ta-da! This will make you whatever food you want. What? This microwave? Really? I don't think I've ever seen this before. How can this make me anything I want? It's been a while, but this is the magic microwave. We used to use it a lot to make all kinds of foods. We just need to use magic dough and real food will pop out for you. What? Really? Magic foods? That sounds amazing. Okay, okay. Um, I want to eat a cheeseburger. I need to see this with my own eyes. You got it. One magic cheeseburger coming right up. Okay, let's prepare everything. We're going to use some magic brown dough. Shape this into a hamburger bun. This will be the top bun. Perfect. Now let's use magic brown dough again to make the bottom bun. Alright, here's a closer look at our hamburger buns. Now let's go make the other ingredients. We'll use dark brown dough to make the hamburger patty. Awesome! Let's put our patty on top of the bottom bun. Okay, next up, we're going to use magic orange dough to make our slice of cheese. Use this tool to make a square shape. Nice! Let's put our cheese on top of the patty. Okay, now let's use magic green dough to make lettuce. Beautiful. 
Let's put our lettuce on top of the cheese. Now we'll use magic red dough to make a tomato. Use this cutter. Here's a closer look at our sliced tomato. Last but not least, let's use magic white dough to make onions. Use the same cutter. Now let's use a smaller cutter. Awesome! Here's our sliced onion. Put that on top. Now let's add the top bun. Woo! This looks good. Here is our magic cheeseburger. Now let's put this cheeseburger inside the magic microwave. Press start and watch the magic happen. Check it out! The magic cheeseburger turned into an actual cheeseburger. Marshall won't believe this. What'd I tell you, Marshall? The magic microwave can make anything. No way! This isn't real! But it smells so real! It smells so good! I can't believe the magic microwave made this! I had to rub my eyes to make sure I wasn't being fooled. I need to do a taste test. Enjoy! Oh my gosh, that cheeseburger was so good. I honestly thought it was going to taste like rubber, but I'm very impressed. I want to try eating more food made from the microwave. Of course. What would you like next? Hmm, I want to eat something sweet. I'm not sure what, but can you make me something sweet, please? You got it. Wait, right here. Marshall wants sweets, but I don't want to make him candy or anything like that. Let's make fruits for him. They're sweet and healthy. We'll use magic orange, though, to make him an orange. Add that into this fruit bowl. Now let's use magic red dough to make him a strawberry. Use a little bit of magic green dough to make the leaves. Make a star shape. Perfect! Here's our red strawberry. Now let's use magic yellow dough to make a pineapple. Give me a minute. Use this tool to add details to our pineapple. Went ahead and made the pineapple leaves. Alright, here is a closer look at our magic pineapple. Okay, and let's use magic purple dough to make grapes. Give me a minute. Alright, here's a closer look at our magic grapes. Let's put our grapes into the bowl. Okay, let's put this fruit bowl into the magic microwave. Here we go! Whoa! Check that out! The magic microwave does it again! Here's our orange. Here are the grapes. Check out this juicy red strawberry. And here's the sweet pineapple. Here you go. Fruits! Fruits! I love fruits! And you made all my favorite ones. It's pretty cool that you can make fruits with the magic microwave. I hope these fruits are sweet. I'm sure they are. Try this pineapple. Wow, 
Wowza! That was the sweetest pineapple in the world. I can't wait to taste the other fruits now. All right, try the grapes. Now try the strawberry. And here comes the orange. They were all really, really good. The fruits were ripe, and they were all the sweetest fruits I've had in the wilds. Can you make one more thing for me, please? Of course. What would you like? I want to finish my meal with some ice cream. No problem. Wait right here. All right. Let's prepare the ice cream. Here's our cone. Let's use the magic green dough to make Marshall a mint chocolate chip ice cream. This one's pretty simple compared to the others. Let's go put this inside the magic microwave. Here we go! Nice! Look at that beautiful ice cream cone. Here's a closer look at our mint chocolate chip ice cream scoop on the cone. Okay, Marshall, here you go. Wow, wow, wow! That ice cream looks really good! And how did you know I love mint chocolate chip? Now I'm super excited. I can't wait to try this. Enjoy! The ice cream was really good. The best mint chocolate I've ever had. The magic microwave is amazing because it can make all different types of food. Thank you for making me all of this today. I hope we can use it again soon. No problem. I had fun making food for you. Well, I guess the magic microwave did most of the work, but yes, we'll do this again very soon. Awesomer Pop fans, thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!